right, so now I'm going to be showing you how to set up your cat account. So, this is, where I'm at right now is the stage where, after you signed up and you've made your account with your name, and now I'm just going to show you how to register your vehicle, your firearms, your, uh, your licenses and everything like that. So, as you can see over here, this is the link I clicked, it's going to be in the Discord, the Cooley RP Discord, uh, that's the CAD system. Uh, you got to click this link, you sign up from there. Uh, if you don't click that link, otherwise you won't be set up for Cooley RP. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're click Patrol, and then we're click Civilian Operations. Click Cooley RP right there. This is where you put your identifier. Uh, this is not your actual RP name, this is what you're going to put in there. So, I'm just going to use my Steam name, which is Cross, my Discord name actually. And then, so this is where people get confused. So this is your persona. This is your RP character thing. So this is where you're going to put your RP name. This is where you're going to put your weight in pounds. Not your actual weight. This this is all your RP character. So make it based off how, what your guy looks like. Your height is 6'1". White, blonde hair, male. Uh, don't put your actual address in here because otherwise cops can see that. Um, it doesn't have to be a realistic address because, I mean, there's no addresses in GTA 5 yet, at least for the server. Um, but you've got Johnny Karate there. That's your that's your RP name. So when a cop you tell a cop asks what your name is, you're gonna say your name is Johnny Karate. All right. So to make a new vehicle or register a new vehicle, so first you're gonna want to look at your vehicle that you have. So if you have like a Lamborghini, you're gonna put the model. Lamborghini. Uh, you're gonna put the license plate. So you're gonna look at the back of the vehicle and whatever the license plate is. You can customize it. I'm just gonna say this is like one alpha box truck golf six seven one. And then your primary color. So the color that the vehicle is. Most of the time you're not gonna have two colors. You're just gonna make it black. The secondary color. So if you do like white. Um, the color type. So like what color type you're using for your vehicle? Like any one of these. So this is one that really matters. Uh, the this, 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 and this is like the only thing that matters when registering a vehicle. So you need to put the reg registration as valid. Oh, not expired. Insurance as valid, and then that's going to show up. So if a cop sees your plate on the side of the road and he looks up one Alpha Foxtrot Golf six seventy one, he's going to see that it is a black Lamborghini and it's registered to your name. All right. So creating a new firearm, so every firearm that ha you have on you, you have to register, otherwise you can get in trouble with the cops. So you're going to have to do, the model is going to be like what type of firearm it is. So like you get a carbine rifle, you do a carbine rifle, and then black. And so what's this base, what, what is, this is basically doing is, um, every time a car, so if you get like, if you die and you have a carbine rifle next to you, if a cop looks up, if he like in character goes like forward slash me, and he goes, what's the serial number on this carbine rifle? You would tell him 99557159. And then once he looks that up, he can look that up in his firearm center. And then he would see that it's registered to you. Uh, or if a, a weapon was used in a crime. And they wanted to find out if it was actually yours. or it, It's it's a whole thing, but I figured I'd help you out with that. This shows all your uh, your personal information. This is your character's personal information. Uh, you don't need your social security number. Uh, this is where you put your medical profile. Um, the Judicial Center is going to be used, you can see your traffic priors, all your tickets, all your warnings, your fix-it tickets, your warrant history, this is where you're going to put all your warrants at. So if you're wanted or something by the police, this is where they would check. Uh, your arrest priors, this is where it's going to show all your prior arrests. If you are a felon, it doesn't matter if you've registered a firearm, you can still not own a firearm. Firearm. So, that's that seems to be a misconception. Um, for the license center, you're going to want to make your driver's license valid, your voter's license valid or invalid. If you don't click anything, it's invalid. Um, your hunting license, so if you want to go shoot animals or do animal hunting RP, I don't know. I've never done that before, but it's a thing. Say if you want to become a pilot and you become a Civ 3, you have to put your pilot license as valid, otherwise an officer can arrest you for flying a helicopter. Um, to own your firearm, you have to click valid. Otherwise, those registered firearms mean, mean nothing. Uh, but that's pretty much the basics. Uh, you guys seem to have a real issue trying to figure this out, so I figured I'd just make a video real quick. Um, a lot of staff members have trouble explaining it, so this will help. Step, step.